This video will walk you through troubleshooting an F or H05 error on a SmartPak 2 integrated with a WPC2000 system. You will want to determine if you have an old style or new style resolver. We will go over some basic troubleshooting steps next in this video. Some of the possible causes of resolver stator errors are the master slave jumper in the wrong position, resolver wiring, firmware compatibility issues of the SmartPak 2 and WPC2000, and lastly, defective resolver or boards in the system. Let's go down the list and walk through each of these, starting with the master slave jumper, JP101. The Master Slave Jumper, JP101, is located on the SmartPak 2 processor board, just to the left of the bootloader chip. When SmartPak 2 is integrated with the WPC2000, the Master Slave Jumper, JP101, needs to be in slave position. If you are having trouble spotting it, you may have a DiproPak board over it. It is located beneath the DiproPak board's lower right-hand corner. If you need to change the position of the jumper, you will need to remove the DiPro backboard to do so. Next on the list of possible causes of resolver stator errors is the resolver wiring. We will show you how to check the military style connector and what to look for with the resolver wiring. Some issues that may arise with resolver wiring is the green military style connector that could vibrate loose. Also, you could have a broken or frayed wire on the resolver connector that plugs into the system boards. Also, you could have a wire that the contacts were screwed down onto the insulation and could be causing an intermittent connection. Yet another possible cause of resolver stator issues is the firmware compatibility of the SmartPak and Wintress Press control. We will now look at how to find your firmware versions and ensure they are compatible. To find your firmware versions, go to Program Mode and press 1 and Clear simultaneously to get the main initialization menu. Then scroll down and select Installed Options. Your SmartPak 2 software version is at the top of the screen. And then further down in the list of installed options is the WPC2000. The firmware version is all the way to the right of the line item. With new boards, the SmartPak 2 firmware version needs to be higher than 13.07, and the WPC2000 firmware version needs to be higher than 5.21. Lastly, we will look at the possibility of a defective resolver or processor board causing the resolver stator error. We will go over how to perform ohm and voltage tests to try and isolate the possible causes. The first resolver test you can perform is a resistance measurement. Power down the system and remove the resolver connectors from both the SmartPak, TB101, and press control processor, TB106, boards. Then, for an old-style resolver, measure the rotor on terminals 4 to pin 6. You should see approximately 89 ohms. Next, you can measure the stators 1 and 2. Stator 1 is measured on terminals 3 to 7. Stator 2 is measured on terminals 2 to 5. You should see approximately 70 ohms on each stator. For a new-style resolver, you measure on the same pin numbers. Your rotor should read approximately 36 ohms, and your stators should read approximately 90 ohms. If these ohm readings are not where they should be, then it is likely your resolver or resolver cable are defective or damaged. The next resolver test will be a voltage test. Plug the resolver cables back into the SmartPak 2 TB101 and WPC2000 TB106. Get a digital multimeter and set it to AC volts. Power up the system and take the following measurements. Measure the rotors on pins 4 to pin 6. 
you should see approximately 4 to 4.5 volts AC. Then, you can measure the stators 1 and 2. Stator 1 is measured on pins 3 to 7. Stator 2 is measured on pins 2 to 5. You should see a combined voltage between stators 1 and 2 of 2 to 2.5 volts AC. If these voltages are not as high as they are supposed to be, but the resolver passed the ohms test, then you likely have a processor board problem. In this case, you should call tech support to learn how to troubleshoot further. Hopefully, you discovered a loose MS connector on your resolver, or needed a simple firmware upgrade, or only had to replace a resolver or cable and now your press is up and running. If you did discover low or no supply voltage and discovered that you need to determine which processor board is bad, there are further troubleshooting steps to isolate the system and determine which board is the problem. Please contact our techs for future support. For further assistance troubleshooting this or other fault codes, please call 800-586-8324 and select option 2 for technical support, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time.